Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Jordan here. Now today we've got a very special video for you. You know that we work closely with Red Art Games, a really nice low print company who put out some nice titles. We often tell you about and show off their latest exclusive Nintendo Switch physical releases. We're all about physical goodness here. Well, they asked me which of their games are my favorite, so I thought I would put a top 10 together. But wait, there's more, because in this video we also have an exclusive reveal to tell you their latest Nintendo Switch release. Yes, exclusive reveal for like one hour until they tell everybody else. So let's take a look. Now I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking Jordan's gonna mention S Watch 10 for 10% off anything from their website. And that is true. But as a celebration of this reveal, this exciting new announcement, for one week only, we have got you guys 20% off, yes, 20% off anything from Red Art Games if you use the code REDWATCH20. 20% off for one week only. So my top 10 games of theirs. Firstly, let's start with Hardcore Mecha. This is one of the most fun games that I've played on the Switch in the past year or so. It's a side-scrolling action game where you pilot a mech and satisfyingly destroy the crap out of things. While this was also released physically in Asian regions, Red Art Games is far more up-to-date with more content on the cartridge and updates to smooth out the experience. Yes, this cartridge is fully up-to-date, which is not like a little thing considering how massive the patch was for the Asian version. This is a really fantastic game, even though I must have reviewed it like well over a year ago, it's a unique experience that will stick with me for a long time to come. Great action, very cinematic, easily one of Red Art Games' top tier releases. Arietta of Spirit is a fine little action adventure game, a heartwarming tale trying to emulate the 16-bit classics. This is a lovely little title that will charm you, but also it's not afraid to go dark in places. If you love A Link to the Past and other games that try to go for the tried, tested formula, then look no further than Arietta of Spirit. We even included it on our list telling you all the Zelda-like games on the Switch, like the good ones. Beautiful pixel art and a moving soundtrack which will make this an experience needed to be had. They have a standard edition up for pre-order, while there's also a nice little collector's edition that comes with a nice steel book, a soundtrack CD, and a poster all encapsulated in a classic Super Nintendo style box. Galaxy of Pen and Paper Plus One was one of their latest announcements that was put up for pre-order. This game was made by the same developers as Knights of Pen and Paper, but in space, which makes it better because space is better than medieval times. It's basically a Dungeons and Dragons style RPG set in space. Fourth wall breaking as you basically observe the dungeon master and players getting on with the game. Full of humor and surprising depth, there is a lot to like about this game, especially if you're into tabletop games in real life. This plus one edition includes more extra stuff and you know, we all like more stuff, that's always a good thing. Now interestingly, this is where Red Art Games are trying something a little bit different with their releases. They have a pre-order window five weeks to get your order in, although it's much less now, so do not hang around with this one. Dex is easily one of the more underrated cyberpunk style games around, a 2D side-scrolling open world cyberpunk RPG with a focus on exploration and non-linear gameplay. And I think that's what we all want when it comes to cyberpunk. Options. Are you a talker? Are you a fighter? Are you a hacker? How will you make your way through this world and the intriguing story before you? It has all the cyberpunk tropes that you'll need mixed in with some fine open world gameplay and exploration. Lots to see and do and to get absorbed into this mini world. Very recommended. Children of Zodiacs is a fun tactical RPG that kind of looks like Final Fantasy Tactics but switches the class system for dice and cards. Now usually, as you may know, I'm kind of allergic to card-based games, but this adds a nice twist to the formula here. It's different than the usual battle mechanics found in isometric tactical RPGs. There's plenty to experiment with with your deck building preferences. It has an interesting story to go along with it, as it's set in a very unequal world where people are either disgustingly rich or heartbreakingly poor. Definitely one for tactical RPG fans who want something a little bit different to spice things up. 
My Memory of Us is a hard-hitting 2D adventure puzzle game that's an allegory for the atrocities of the Second World War. Featuring a monochromatic art style perfectly suited for such matter, it tackles the tough subject very admirably as two friends work together to survive. You control each character separately and also together as they hold hands, that's very sweet. And it's full of logic puzzles that you really want to solve. There's action and stealth in here too to make a rather lovely yet bittersweet experience. Red Art Games have a standard edition for this release, but also a very nice collector's edition too, which comes with a very nice art book, a lithograph, and a soundtrack CD of the really great music found within. There's not a lot of those left, so don't miss out. If you're looking for something a little more light-hearted, because let's face it, war atrocities don't exactly liven up the party sometimes, uh, then maybe you want to take a look at the incredibly colourful and beautiful Splasher. If Super Meat Boy and Portal 2 had a baby, then you'd probably get Splasher. Fast-paced Twitch platformer where you use paint to either stick to and climb or bounce off walls. It features combat and fun puzzles with lots of replayability with collectibles and even speed running in mind. It's not brutally difficult either, unlike some of its peers, with a gradual difficulty curve that ramps up alongside the player getting used to the controls. A very fun game indeed. Neurovoider is the perfect blend of twin-stick shooter RPG roguelike, a surprisingly popular genre combination. Over-the-top action featuring plenty of explosions and equal amount of depth on your part, this is tough but a lot of fun as you make your way through procedurally generated areas, blowing countless combinations of enemies up with badass weaponry. It has a belting soundtrack too, and to top it all off, say hello to 4-player couch co-op baby. This is low-key one of Red Art Games' best releases. Sturmfront is an insane over-the-top action game. Think Akari Warriors, but good. It's twin-stick scrolling goodness with big bullets and even bigger explosions, and an absolutely kicking soundtrack for all you metalheads out there. It may be more comparable to something like Shock Troopers, so you know you're in for a good arcade-style time. It may be an uncomplicated game, but you can just sit back, switch your brain off, and enjoy the carnage and mutant blood all over the screen. I mean, you know, we all like mutant blood. It's basically what video games were invented for. Now I know what you're all wondering, what is their brand new release, their brand new announcement, their reveal? Well, it is a game that has been asked for by collectors for a long, long time, and I'm very happy to reveal that their next game up for pre-order is... Butcher. Butcher is an ultra-violent indie game that does not mess about. Brutal and yet incredibly satisfying, this is a game designed to challenge you. It has amazing sound design that makes every shot feel like it has some weight to it, and I feel that's an underrated aspect when it comes to games with shooting. Gotta have that oomph as you're blasting away the bad guys. If you're looking for an adrenaline rush, then look no further than Butcher. And this is going on sale on Thursday, so don't miss out. Butcher at RedArtGames.com And there we have it guys, my top 10 favorite Red Art Games releases. And yes, Butcher is in there, I'm not just doing that for like the sponsorship. I would put it in there regardless. Head over to redartgames.com to get your orders in. Remember, Red Watch 20 for 20% of anything from their website. That is for one week only. S Watch 10 from thereafter for 10% off. Butcher is going up for order on Thursday. Thanks to Red Art Games for sponsoring this video. As a thank you to them, consider signing up to their newsletter to not miss out on any new announcements. Big thanks to our executive producers Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boom Box, Brent McLean, Jonathan Rumor, Santa Tartaruga, Alexander Cato, J Cross 7776, Elisa, Punky Dusta, Michael Del Polito, Cartoon Soren, Jack Severus, Vilos, Robotech, Z, and three more legends, Raven Knight, Thorn Metaluna, and Parsnip Coffee. Thank you for your amazing support. Plus you, yes, you're watching right now. The longer you watch, the more YouTube likes us. If you enjoy physical releases, check out my Monday video series where I keep you up to date with all of them. And on Sunday, James takes you through all the digital bargains to save a couple of bucks. And also perhaps check out some of our other recent game reviews. We'll see you guys over there. Have a good one.